We have made it to season two. We just finished season one and season one was absolutely amazing. Now, I've heard that this is one of the weaker seasons. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I heard this is actually like a peak season. Like there is some craziness that happens inside of season two and I'm excited to see what happens. Apparently season one, two, three, and four are absolutely amazing. So let's just see what it has to offer. I'm really excited. If you guys are excited for the reaction, you guys already know what to do. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new. That'd be greatly appreciated. Also bear in mind if you guys want to view the full length reactions, you guys can find that over there on the patreon page i'm sure we're already we might actually be already in season three by the time you guys watch this video so be sure to check that out if you guys want to get some early access content you guys can find that over there on the patreon page but yeah really excited to see what happens inside of this season season two of ninjago let's go through and hop right on into episode number one of season two of ninjago why can't he uh, Most of our elemental powers are gone. Oh no. I just feel so I don't know, limited. They lose their powers. That is tough. Did Garbodon take the weapons? <laughs> no one ever said being a hero is easy. Though our good deeds may never make us rich, they make us rich in other ways. Okay, Zane, I see you, buddy. <laughs> that is facts though. Anyone seen Nia? She said she was going to help. And I have. I may have found us a place to live. I love since Wu was just along for the ride. I know a guy who knows a girl, and she knows this girl who knows a guy. Well, this guy knows a girl who's a real estate agent, and she can help you find a place. <laughs> well, this guy knows this guy, and this guy apparently knows me, so that got the information from that guy who knows that guy. My dragon ointment has finally arrived. Dragon ointment? But once we get back, we'll be flying once again. Okay. I love scenic drives. <laughs> Function, Mia. All right, well, off we go. Scenic drives ahead. This is exactly what we need. Once we get a roof over our head, we can start properly training Lloyd. Oh, that'd be cool. We have a little, like, little spot in Ninjago City. The Serpentine are still at large. Still got to deal with the snakes. We've been exiled for the last time. Oh, this guy wants to be boss. Why should we trust you? I was the one who told you in the first place not to awaken the Devourer. <laughs> you want a home? Oh God! What does he want with him? Now that I have the golden weapons, it's time that I got back to my roots. Oh my God! He's gonna be scheming. He said, "I'm gonna go back to my roots of being evil." The skeletons serve their purpose, but I've always been partial to snakes. Is he gonna team up with the snakes? Follow me! Oh my God! Oh, they're going with Garmadine. That's tough. What in the world? Ain't no way. That thing looks like a villain mobile. Bro, come on, Garmadine. Give us back the weapons, bro. <laughs> He's not even a serpentine. That is facts. Rule with me and we rule as <laughs> Why do I like secretly feel like I'd go with that guy? That guy actually would lead us to victory if you were the snakes. But they're going with Garvadon. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. They have my son, and it is written that he will one day defeat me. Oh. Then we destroy Lloyd. You better chill. Lock him in the brig. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> this one, one person you don't mess around with with Garvadon is his son. Ninjago will be mine. Man, we gotta go against Garvadon, bro. Crap. Oh, the birthplace. Once I uncover their full potential, nothing will stand in our way. Garmadon is scheming, bro. Who needs when it looks like a dungeon. Nah, we gotta head out. Until you see the lighting. <laughs> what lighting? Who needs lights when you have this view? <laughs> what the view of another building? <laughs> Look, doll, I'm trying to work around your budget. This is all you can afford. <laughs> <laughs> she said this is as good as it's gonna get. That's tough. Our main objective is to train Lloyd, not kick our feet up in some swanky suite. If this is all we can afford, this is all we can afford. Hey, we can fix it up. I mean, we can't fix the view, but we can fix inside. I mean, think about all the stuff they did with that abandoned ship. If we have to get Lloyd ready to save Ninjago from his father, 
Shouldn't he at least have his own room? Technically, that does not matter. He only. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta knock that uh, the the robot out of him. All right, let's see. We can't afford this. This is the eight bedroom hero suite. The hero suite. Seems a little out of our price range. Yeah, this is gonna be like. A little more, but you deserve it. <laughs> she wants that check. <laughs> Maybe we can get a hero discount. <laughs> oh, the hero discount. Save the city. I thought Lord Garmadon saved the city. That is true. Technically, Garmadon was the hero. Did I mention the in-house training facility? Wait, what? Oh my God. We'll take it. No way we can afford it. Oh, they're working hard. <laughs> oh, I thought for a second one of the ninjas were, were robbing the bank. Hey, here's a soundtrack. Doing our hero stuff. Oh, <laughs> saving every dollar. Hey. Oh my God. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Zane is clutch for the team. I swear to God. What is happening here? <laughs> Lloyd, bro. I can't with him. I thought you were going to train me when you got home. Sorry, champ, but we can until we make rent. This isn't going to work. If y'all are working every day, y'all won't have time to train Lloyd. And our rent is due tomorrow. Oh, God. And I can do overtime. Guys, you should have went for the lower budgeted room. You saw how good they like they they made that pirate ship in season one. Like they should just fix it up. What about me? Uh, how about you help out and fetch me some more ice, huh? It's like okay. I feel for Lloyd, man. Get get this guy some training. Uh, how much time is left? Five minutes. But I'll never get across town in five minutes. This isn't gonna go good. My man Jay weaving. He said, I'm about to deliver this pizza. Oh, God. Oh, land it, please. No, he lost the pizza. Oh, screw that. We got to save him. We're losing our job today, 100%. <laughs> so? Homie said, I got a bike. <laughs> Ain't no way. Ain't no way, Jay. Yo. Oh my god. That's enough to kill somebody. Pizza ninja. <laughs> Pizza ninja. <laughs> That's really what we're doing, huh? Anyone here? So, after you rob the bank, we embark on phase two. Wait, the snakes wanted pizza? When are we going to get pizza? <laughs> the snakes ordered pizza. We haven't given you your tip. Oh, maybe they're nice. I doubt it. <laughs> They really got him tied up like that? Oh my god. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. <laughs> Gonna be hopping for a little bit. Everything okay? Uh, uh, nothing out of the ordinary, boss. Thanks for taking the double shift. My pleasure. What is what is his job? To greet people? My man, Cole. It's not going well for you, my guy. <laughs> he is so tired. It's working hard though. Oh god. Alright, we gotta do our other job of being a ninja. All right, Cole, you gotta you gotta stop him. Sounds like they need me. Not so fast. Said so, no, you. <laughs> People are in danger. Not until my son is done playing. Oh my God! Wait, he left. You're fired. I think they lost all their jobs. I'm sorry. You're fired. Just like that? I mean, never mind. They all got fired. We can't afford that expensive suite anymore. <laughs> Yo, we're all fired. It looks like we're getting the the low budget room that <laughs> had a broken light. I overheard them saying something about taking the subway. Good call. Let's go. Oh right, well. Oh, first time we see this in season two. Oh, they put on their suits. That's so cool. Meanwhile, <laughs> hello, anyone? Poor Jay. Jay, what if a train comes? What are you doing, Jay? Oh God. It's like a worst nightmare, imagine. Sounds like we have company, boys. But I only heard three. Aren't there four? No, stupid. <laughs> no, stupid. <laughs> that is amazing. Isn't there an easier way to get inside? I hope Jay isn't on this line. 
Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay, let's let's fight. Ugh. Oh my god, you won't, Zane. Oh my god. They really coming in with the sucker punches. We're not gonna let these fools get away with this. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Meanwhile. What's he playing? Oh god. Somebody's here. Lloyd, you're gonna have to step up, my guy. I know you haven't been getting any training, but you're gonna have to do something. Hi. Hello, little boy. <laughs> he started running real quick. Door is locked. Are you kidding me? I want it! But to let me lead the 17. Oh my god, bro. You're messing with the wrong person. Garmadon's gonna be heated if you lay a finger on him. I swear to god. <laughs> we have to save Lloyd. <laughs> that was a mean like block, uh, Cole. You didn't even look at him. You saw him. He caught that punch so quick. Well, <laughs> it's not exactly our golden weapon, but it's a golden pole. Nah, homie. Guys, I think I found Jay. Is he in front of the train? Oh my god. Finally, the way out. No. This isn't the way out you want to go. <laughs> well. Later, Jay. How do we get this guy saved? Oh, it has brakes. Who would have thought? Oh god, it's gonna stop, please. There's gotta be an easy, easier way to stop a train. Nice! <laughs> Alright, well, that happened. No, they got Lloyd? Oh my god. Oh, we shouldn't have left him. We shouldn't have taken those jobs in the first place. Yeah, we should have went with the first room. And then we actually have time to train the kid, and maybe he wouldn't get captured. Oh! You're okay? I wasn't going to be until Nia and Sensei showed up at the last moment. I bet Sensei Wu pieced them up. I guess you could say we learned we don't need all the fancy stuff. We just need each other. Aww, lesson learned. It seems like we learn a lesson every episode. I like it. It's not much, but this one bedroom, one half bath is a cozy dream. <laughs> we did go to the other room. We can fix it up. Ninjago Prison. I feel like homie's gonna have a come up. I feel like he might have a come up. I don't know. Meanwhile, we have my man Garmadon. Are you gonna throw the weapons inside the... Birthplace of the golden weapons. Oh, this is where they were all made? Oh my god. What is that? It's working. It's working. Is it gonna be formed into one weapon? What in the world? What is happening? It got formed into one weapon. Your eminence. Are you okay? <laughs> Your eminence. I've never felt more powerful. Oh no. Wow, bro. It got formed into one weapon. Who would have thought? How does he even know? <laughs> How did he know that was the birthplace? I mean, I guess he has been around for a minute. Well, we got Garbodon to deal with this season, I guess. Meanwhile. This isn't the best sleeping environment, huh? Maybe one day they get some crazy facility for training and for living. I fear there is a great disturbance in the force. He knows. Alright, so that was the end of that episode of Season 2, Episode Number 1 of Ninjago Darkness Shall Rise. And we saw that inside this episode. Garmadon took over and I guess either he has both the skeletons and the snakes now or he's just working with just the snakes alone so i don't know how that works but garmadon not only is working with the snakes but he also formed all four weapons until one weapon i guess it's extra powerful i don't know why he would do that if he has four arms anyways maybe the weapon's just a lot more powerful now now that you combined it into just solely one weapon but we have garmadon running around with an ultimate weapon and we got to take it from him i mean i i think in, in the last episode the 
the last episode of season one, my man uh, Kai or somebody said like, hey, you, I, I want these weapons back. I mean, you can save the city for now, but I want these back. And he did not listen. He did not give the weapons back. He said that he's going back to his roots of being evil. So now we got to deal with him. It's really cool to see that Lloyd finally is going to get some attention. I guess this season we're going to be training him. This episode, we kind of learned a valuable lesson and uh, kind of learned it the hard way. I mean, they, they wanted the sweet. <laughs> And it turned out that, like, they couldn't afford this suite. They had to work overtime and, and lots of different shifts and stuff, and they had no time to train Lloyd. So originally, they should have just went with the first room that was in their budget, but they didn't. And they learned the hard way that that just wasn't going to work. But thankfully, now we have a place to live that we could actually afford. It's not exactly the coziest place, but at least we're going to be able to give some attention to Lloyd. But that was episode number one of season two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the reaction. If you guys did, you guys already know what to do. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe to this channel if you guys are new. All that good stuff. But with that being said, I'll be seeing you on the next one. Peace!